So you're thinking about investing in a Dogecoin, but you're unsure whether or not you should pull the cord and get involved in it. Well, great news, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you what exactly Dogecoin is and why I think you should tread carefully when investing in this particular cryptocurrency. What's up, everyone? My name is Brandon Simons. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, and thank you so much for being here. Really quickly, just to get this out of the way, it's important to state that the content in this video is for educational, entertainment, and informational purposes only and should not be considered investment advice. With all that said, let's talk about Dogecoin. You might have seen this all over Twitter or in the news articles for the past couple of weeks or months for that matter. This seemingly random cryptocurrency that has a picture of a Shiba Inu on the coin coming out of nowhere, powered by rocket emojis and random tweets from Elon Musk, the CEO or ex-CEO of Dogecoin. Is he the CEO? I don't know anymore. He likes Dogecoin a lot and he talks talks about it a lot on his Twitter. At this point, you're probably wondering, what the heck is Dogecoin, Brandon? Why are you talking about this today? And you know what? I'm about to tell you why. Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency. And in order to effectively understand what that is, you should understand what cryptocurrencies are. And to do that, we're going to take a really quick look at the original cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has been around since 2009 and is the most prominent and largest cryptocurrency by market cap to date. To really oversimplify what Bitcoin is, at its core, Bitcoin is unregulated, highly volatile, digital currency that is based on blockchain technology. If you would like to know more about blockchain, I will be making a more in-depth video on the topic in the future. Now that that's all out of the way, of course, Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency that's available on the market today. There are literally thousands of these altcoins all based around the same premise that have tons of different alterations to give each coin a perceived value and all of them, including the vaporware ones, claim to be better than Bitcoin and that is highly debatable. You've probably heard of some of these alternative currencies like Ethereum or Chainlink, maybe Cardano or Stellar Lumen, et cetera, et cetera. And if we take a look over here at CoinMarketCap, you'll see some of these very same ones that I've mentioned are in this list, plus thousands of others. While this may be very overwhelming in today's video, we're just going to be talking about one of them, and that is going to be Dogecoin. Dogecoin was literally started as a joke, as a tweet by Jackson Palmer, whom at the time was working at Adobe, and making fun of how many altcoins there were in existence. He effectively took a meme of a Shiba Inu and slapped it on a coin logo, and it just took off from there. So fundamentally, we know that Dogecoin is a alternative cryptocurrency, but the reason why it's stuck around for so long is actually way more interesting. One of the things that you're gonna notice with cryptocurrencies is they have a track record of taking themselves way too seriously. And you know what? At the end of the day, they really should because they all serve to solve some level of real world problem. And honestly, the idea of Bitcoin and having a global currency makes perfect sense. Unfortunately, now that there are so many altcoins, it makes it challenging to sort through the ones that are actually worth investing into, whether it be short term, long term, or projects that you might be interested in making a quick buck off of. It's hard to determine which ones of those projects, especially when you're looking at coin market cap, are in fact legitimate or scams, and it can be really, really overwhelming. At the end of the day, what you really want to know is which ones are worth investing into and which ones are going to make you the most money possible. So Dogecoin seems like it caught on because it started as a joke and because everybody knew that the founders weren't in it for the money and the fact that it was started based on an ultra meme, as it were. This is actually a welcome thing in the cryptocurrency community and it's why the project has been so successful because of the fact that it was started as a joke. As I said earlier, cryptocurrencies have a track record of being super serious and for normal individuals that can be extremely intimidating, making it less accessible for them to get involved in the space. Dogecoin being a joke makes it super easy for normal folks to want to get involved because what Dogecoin excels at is taking away some of the layers of complexity, in fact most of the layers of complexity, and it really provides a inviting atmosphere for normal folks to be okay with investing their money into and or getting involved in the Dogecoin community that has always, at least historically, been a welcoming place for new individuals who are 
are interested in getting into crypto. So because of Dogecoin's non-intimidating approach, the community behind it generating arguably some of the best memes on the internet, and the overall general vibe of the currency being easy to use and obtain, this is why Dogecoin has continued to see success over the many years that it has been around. With all that being said, the last question you might have is, Brandon, should I invest in Dogecoin? Is it going to go to a dollar like all of the rocket emoji wielding fanatics suggest it's going to? Unfortunately, I highly doubt that that's going to happen. And while I cannot provide you financial advice, I can state that if you were to look at the historical data available for Doge, you would notice that the currency has had massive price spikes in the past whenever it's been tied to a major event, such as when Dogecoin sponsored the NASCAR driver or they sponsored the Jamaican bobsled team to go to the Olympics. And heck, even recently, if you've been following along with Elon Musk's Twitter feed and anytime he so much as breathes the word doge, the price tends to react positively. Now with all this in mind, I do want to caution you to make sure that if you do decide to invest into this digital currency, that you make sure that you're not going to go into any unnecessary debt for this or that you're not going to take any food off the table for your family or anything crazy like that. And you're making sure that the money that you are investing into this is money that you can afford to lose because effectively with cryptocurrencies, because they are so volatile and so unregulated, it is extremely easy to lose any sort of funds or monies that you decide to invest into them. Effectively, when you're investing into a cryptocurrency at this stage, you are in essence gambling. And with anything else that involves gambling, you wanna make sure that the money that you are using for gambling, if you decide to partake in that, is money that you can afford to spend at the end of the day without impacting your bottom lines or as I said earlier causing you to go into any sort of unnecessary debt and if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know how I feel about debt and that you really shouldn't do it if you don't absolutely have to. Now keep in mind, what I'm saying here isn't meant to scare you away by any means from getting involved in cryptocurrency. If it's something that even remotely interests you, I wanna highly encourage you to do your own research and make sure that you know what you're getting involved into before pulling the trigger because you were influenced by some hype squad fanatic who posted a bunch of rocket emojis on your favorite finance forum saying Dogecoin's going to a dollar. Like it's not really realistic to think like that, but I do definitely want to encourage you to get involved in a cryptocurrency when you are comfortable to do so. Also, I just want to mention that this advice is coming from somebody who's been involved in the cryptocurrency space since before Bitcoin even had a valuation tied to it. So take it from somebody who's been burned on multiple different projects multiple times in the past and has made silly mistakes with his own money and just please be sure to be careful with what you're deciding to invest into, regardless of how easy it may seem to get a hold of or regardless of how cheap the project may be. You just want to make sure that you're protecting yourself and your family first by making sure you can provide for them before taking any unnecessary risks and or expenditures. These markets are highly volatile and yes, people have made tons of money on them, but people have also lost a ton of money on them. And I just want to make sure that something like that isn't going to happen to somebody like you. And with all that said, I just want to thank you so much for joining me here today on our journey talking about Dogecoin and I hope you found the content in this video to be helpful. If you've made it this far in the video, please do me a favor and destroy that like button like it owes your mama some money and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Peace!